Let's talk about saving you time in Photoshop by selecting layers more efficiently. Now there's three ways that I tend to select layers in Photoshop. Um, make sure you're on the move tool, not the artboard tool. So the first tool in your tool set tool panel in the upper left corner of your Photoshop screen kind of looks kind of looks like this, right? Now, once you have that selected, more tools pop up on the very top bar of your Photoshop document. And the first one is a checkbox called auto select. So if we check that, we can auto select layers. Probably the quickest, fastest way to select layers. It's kind of like working with um, objects in Illustrator where everything is just on a, this canvas artboard and anything is clickable and movable and selectable. But this really starts to break down when you start to have layers like grunge layers on top of your artwork or you begin to have adjustment layers that cover the whole canvas and you try to click and it just selects those layers. We can fix that by locking those layers, but if you start to have a lot more layers in your document, it's, it's gonna be way less efficient to be hunting through all your folders to find all those adjustment layers, to find all the layers that are blended on top and try to lock everything just to move a single layer underneath. I unselect the auto select and tend to just select a layer in my layers panel or what I think is the most efficient way and is the best way to find layers or find select and move layers is to just right click on your canvas. That's gonna pull open a dropdown of every layer that's underneath that click. So yeah, you've gotta click right on the visual representation of the element. So let's say it's text, you have to click right on the actual text. You can't just click um, in between the text to get that layer, but it's gonna show you everything underneath that right click. You can select that layer and then move it around really quickly, or I use it a lot just to find the layer in my layers panel. So I can go over and add effects to it or apply other um, adjustments. You might wanna name your layers a little bit better so it's not like rectangle one, rectangle two, rectangle three, copy one, you know, like all that kind of stuff. But I would say that this is probably that in between auto select and just manually selecting layers. It kind of gives you the freedom to just visually select what you see on your canvas. I hope you guys appreciated this kind of quick tip in Photoshop, saves you a little bit of time, makes you more efficient. It's one of those things that I, I you know, I think, oh, but I bet people don't know that you can right click on your canvas and, and select layers. If you wanna learn more of these types of tricks and everything I think you should know in Photoshop, especially as a beginner, go take my Photoshop class. It's totally free, it's over on Skillshare. There's a link for it in the description. And then if you like Skillshare as a platform, you can actually take any premium course on there for totally free for something like two months. If you also click the link in the description that, uh, that I put in there that says take like 20,000 classes for free. Also helps support this channel because they know I sent you over there as a referral. So I think that you guys get value out of it and you can help support this channel. I think it's like the only real way other than watching my videos. And I appreciate every one of you. Please like and subscribe as well if you want to stay in touch with more content coming from, uh, from me, Spencer, from Pixel and Bracket. That's pretty much it, you guys. I don't know how I'm gonna close out this video, but I think I'm just gonna say, hey, thanks for watching. And <laughs> I'll see you next time.